Okay, thank you for being here. Uh, I want to just kind of kind of give some details about the uh, CNR plating fire that occurred uh, last night into this morning. At 11.25 p.m. on Friday, June 12th, the Columbia City Fire Department was toned out to a fire in a dryer box at CNR plating at 302 Factory Avenue in Columbia City. Upon arrival on the scene, heavy smoke and flames were observed coming from the building. Immediately, the firefighters started working on fire suppression, evacuation of residents, and environmental control. An evacuation was issued for residents in the immediate area, expanding later to include a 20-block area of Columbia City. Residents in the evacuated area were directed to the First Church of God, where the American Red Cross volunteers had set up a shelter with food and water for those displaced. It's projected that over, uh, over 200 homes were evacuated with the assistance of the Columbia City Police Department, Whitley County Sheriff's deputies, and multiple township fire departments. Uh, employees of the Columbia City Water, Wastewater, Sewer, and Electric Departments assisted on the scene. Members of Thorn Creek Township, Union Township, Columbia Township, and Smith Township Fire Departments assisted at the scene or with traffic direction. Richland Towns Township and Jefferson Townships were put on standby as a precaution. Fort Wayne Hazmat worked the scene, as did the Whitley County Health Department and Indiana Department of Natural Resources. The fire was under control within two hours of the initial call. The all clear was given uh, on the scene at 4.30 a.m. on Saturday, June 13, 2015. At that time, citizens were allowed back in their homes. We have received no confirmed reports of injuries at this time. However, if citizens are feeling sick, they are advised to report to the Parkview Whitley Hospital. It's important for the public to know that as of 4.30 a.m. this morning, there were no continuing health risks for our citizens. I want to thank our police and utility departments as well as the Whitley County Sheriff's Department for their work tonight. I want to thank the Township Fire Departments and the Whitley County Emergency Management who provided mutual aid and collaborated with our department. I want to thank the Fort Wayne Hazmat Team, Whitley County Health Department, and multiple state agencies for assisting with the environmental hazards from this fire. The Red Cross and First Church of God did a great job of assisting and helping keep our residents comfortable. Finally, I want to thank our Columbia City firefighters for their efforts in stopping the spread of this fire and risking their lives this morning. Columbia City is a great community because we have employees and volunteers that are dedicated to protecting the well-being of our residents and businesses. Uh, with me is Scott Wagner from the Whitley County Health Department, and Tom LaRue, who's our, our Columbia City Fire Chief, uh, and we are open for questions. From what aspect? <laughs> okay. Tom? Yeah, sure. When you're dealing with a multi-department, multi-agency response, um, the collaboration and, and making sure that everybody understands what we're trying to achieve as a, an ultimate goal was probably the, the largest obstacle that we faced. Um, I will say that everybody came together very quickly, um, had a united front, and we overcame this rather rather well and quickly so I'm pretty impressed with everybody and I wanted to thank everybody for that. 